<sighs> Take two. Oh, hell. Don't do this to me. There we go. Boy, do I wish I knew how to edit. Edit out these Congratulations screens. on another successful peace summit, Mr. President. Don't congratulate me. Congratulate the peacemaker. You crack me up, little brain salad in a blender, Mr. Spatula. He's been acting surly and withdrawn lately, even for a vice president. But I never thought it would come to this. Uh... His lust for power has twisted him into a mockery of the goldfish we once kind of loved. That insouciant fin-flapping, that glassy, malevolent stare, like a sociopath or a, a Fox newscaster. Oh Mr. Spatula has become pure evil! Staging a coup, Spatula? Not on my watch! Eliminate him. You are my idol. How? I didn't. Flint paper. <laughs> hey, fellas. Hey, what's the rumpus? I'm in the middle of some sensitive PI business. And we respect your sensitivity. Is that mechanical goon one of yours? My secret side burns of Isaac Asimov. My name tried 9,000. That's who name Tron. That's what Mr. Spatula gets for sending a hitman with lousy aim. <laughs> Max, what say we go down and administer a freelance police-style beatdown to that metal monstrosity? And then dance on its smoking carcass. It's that attention to detail that makes me glad you're still president. Ah, hello, and welcome back to take two of my attempt at this video. <laughs> Yeah, really. <sighs> anyway, um, we're in episode one of season two of Sam and Max. We have our new favorite person in the planet back here, uh, beating the ever-loving high holy hell out of somebody. We didn't see you at all last year, Flint. What gives? I had one hell of a crazy case, fellas. Foiling a conspiracy in movie biz, matching wits with a reanimated Grover Cleveland, they're breaking up a sentient cell phone network and a showdown with a cult leader on Saturn's largest moon! Wow! How come we never get to do cool stuff like that? Really? That's basically... Uh, let's go. So, I think we're gonna know who's gonna be our new favorite. But anyway, uh... I don't know why you're here, but I'm glad you are. Let's open the door. Hey, look! We have everything from season one, including Leonard! Keep up the good work, Leonard. And a jar of bliss. A souvenir from when Max eliminated you, Bliss. Let's shut this door. Actually, I'm kind of curious about something. Brady's fro must be at least 60% dust mites and skin flakes at this point. Oh, okay, so there's different lines. souvenir from our takedown of the Toy Mafia. It's the former president's dismembered head. Collect all 43. There we go. Our broken reality 2.0 goggles. How'd they get broken this time? All right, so, um, yeah. This is actually the second time I've had to... Believe me, there was a lot of chaos earlier. Uh, let's ha... Well, screw around after we go take care of Mametron. Let's do that. Uh, I might not be screwing around as much as I normally do in this, because, uh, I literally not less than a minute ago got through playing this game and recording and that went horribly wrong what goes up must come down why are you fools making all that damn record just to tell you once again who is that hey. <laughs> 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 
He may be a mechanized engine of wanton destruction, but his taste in hideous middle-of-the-road pop music is impeccable. Oh, look at the DeSoto! That's horrible! What the heck? Um... Weren't there a bunch of buildings? Yeah, there were a bunch of buildings here. Uh, okay. Buddy, let's get rid of you. I've lost that laughing feeling. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me, Mr. Ginormous Wind-Up Toy of Destruction, sir. Yes. I don't suppose you'd care to stop tearing apart our building. Hmm. In truth, it does not matter. I exist only as a mechanized engine for destruction. What I do is what I am, whether I care for it or not. Oh, In English? no, Sam. He's been to community college! Ow! It's trouble, all right. Would you stop doing this, please? If you start me up, if you start me up, I'll never stop. What song is that from? I exist to destroy. I am carrying out my sole purpose of existence. So philosophically, the question is not would I stop, but can I stop? And the answer? No. Which raises the question. Would I stop beating his rusty metal ass, or could I stop? Max, somehow I could not see you actually We'd beating like you this to stop robot. tearing apart our neighborhood. Sir, well, great good times. Come on. Okay, I want to see somebody actually list off all the police. songs this You're robot is referencing. Put down the building and come peacefully. And only one of us needs to get hurt. I answer to no authority but that of my mechanized will. I've got to go where I want to go. Do what I want to do. Seriously, you're under arrest. We're police. All the cops in the donut shop say, way, oh, oh. way, oh, way, oh, way, oh. That's it! No one quotes walk like an Egyptian to me and lives! <laughs> Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? Yes, yes and yes! <laughs> We're gonna report you. What's your serial number? Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. nine. <laughs> I can't take much more of this, Sam. I fought the law and the robot won. Oh, okay. <laughs> you seem like a smart guy. For a robot. Can you explain something to us? There is no question right, you can have. Let's take him down, I shall we? I answer immediately. Shoot. Metaphorically. No. <laughs> Aww. Well, let's just screw him up. Wait a foolish fall in love. Why do birds sing so gay and lovers await the breakup day? All right. Into the office. We need to reach that wind-up key on his back in case you haven't figured that out yet. But we can do that just as easily right through here. Grab that key. What? You were trying to destroy us. And worse, you butchered every song I wish I'd forgotten. And another one bites, and another one bites, and another one bites. And now I'm going to have that queen song in my head again. I the body for spare parts. I got there's a problem on any that. delicious candy that might spill from his demolished innards. Anyway, yeah. So, um... The nerve center of our entire crime-stopping operation. The medic's book over there. Somebody's boxer shorts, probably Sam's. There's no way that those are Max's, because Max does not wear pants. Yes, this is President Ma I mean, this is I.P. Freeway. Do you have Leonard Snake Charmer in the closet? <laughs> then you should see a doctor about that. <laughs> No, wait. Max. Max, prank calls only work when you... Only phone number I can remember, Sam. Great. Ugh, I don't want to have to redo this. <laughs> I'm looking for Amanda Beaton Pumble. Maybe. God, never mind. Okay, there's only two of those, so they're bored. We should just accept we'll never teach that chimp to be a darts grandmaster. At least he's improving. 
banana peels are a lot better than what he used to fling at it. What's this calendar? Is that that's your Bliss? Cosmetology Blistacular Shade a Month calendar. This month is fabulous. Max, you did that very well right there. Uh, hey, Flint. Don't bother him, Sam. Uh. Alright, let's head back downstairs. So anyway, yeah, this is like my second take with this, because the first take went horribly... wrong. But you're hoping this doesn't go as wrong, because I'm really not in the mood for a third take. At all. I have a question, Sam. How do you like me now, spatula? I'll ignore that question, Max. In order to say, look! Holy knuckle cracking Kringles on a bullet train with a sack full of ketchup covered cheese logs. I love it. does Max's not say thing. that. <laughs> it's we were wrong about Mr. Spatula all along. Wait. What do you mean, wait? This hitman wasn't sent by some lowly goldfish. It was sent from a bleak and desolate wasteland by the most ancient and powerful opponent we've ever faced a hairy, bloated, pagan god, Santa Claus. Ah, uh, anywhere. So, yeah. You clearly saw that. That's what we're doing. Season 1, episode 1, season 2. I have no idea how to do a freaking intro. And if you've made it this far, then thank you very much. I love this kind of interactive where you can just shoot things. Do so you think if you shot at them that Max would shoot back? But what do you expect, right? Anyway. Stop doing this to me. <sighs> well, here we are at the North Pole. When we find Santa, leave the talking to me. And the hasty trial, the harsh sentencing, and the immediate execution. Hold Max! On. You can't be Santa's judge, jury, and executioner. Don't I get to do anything? Uh, what the... What the hell are they doing here? My thoughts exactly. I don't know. Hug. What are the soda poppers doing here? And why does this look like Shadow Moses? For the record, trust me, there's gonna be quite a few uh, jokes here at the ex <laughs> Metal Gear this Solid jokes, so probably. My part. Where does he attach the flying reindeer? There's a boiler on the back. Whoa, tough break for the reindeer. The boiler runs on coal, I think. So, let's see. Here's a tiny topiary. It's a topiary planted in a tiny clay pot. What's a topiary? That. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. You are a fountain of wisdom. He's really let himself go. This thing takes yellow snow and bleaches it into fresh sanitary snow. Want to have a snowball fight? Not without industrial goggles, I don't. <laughs> Oh, hey, look, Max. It's the soda poppers. Again. We Didn't thought you'd all gotten like taken out season? in the Great Dakotan conflict. You must be relieved to see we made it. No. Right. Relieved. What are you doing here? We all got terrible presents from Santa. So we decided to come to the North Pole and return them. <laughs> Better that than spending Christmas Eve with a shotgun aimed at the fireplace. Kids today have no respect for tradition, True. Sam. Um... Let's just find what they got from Santa. What did you get from Santa? A jar full of rhinoceros musk. Yes, another one. Why did someone I give you a first one? 90. It's beautiful, but I don't have the hips for it. Uh, I'll trade you. Why? What did you get? Tuberculosis. <laughs> that's what I gave Sam last year. And that's why we no longer have Secret Santa at the office. Was Flip Paper involved in Secret Santa? Because, I mean, he probably had the best presents. <laughs> 
Why don't you go inside? We were on our way in when we heard some frightening noises coming from the workshop. It almost sounded like... Gunshots? Yeah, how did you guess? Sam, why am I the only one who associates because Christmas you are with Max. the sound of gunfire? Best not to think about it, Max. <laughs> okay, so there's gunfire inside, so there's gonna be craziness. Aren't you guys governors of the Dakotas? We were, but that wasn't enough. So we annexed Nebraska. Unfortunately, oh. there was a bit of a disagreement. With who? 2.5 million voters! They won! I'm confused. Are you going to run for re-election? No, now we're focused on environmental issues. Okay. We've got a new respect for nature since we got kicked out of the governor's mansion! Can we stay with you guys? No! No! no. <laughs> we should be going. Christmas isn't gonna save itself. Yeah, not like that snobby, self-sufficient St. Patrick's Day. Hey, Saint my Patrick snowball Day. melted. Uh, you know what? Just for fun, let's grab a snowball uh, and chuck it at I the... I love the smell of snowballs in the morning. Uh. I don't want to start a war. I can't win. Uh, so Max is a beast. Hey, wizard. What? Please forgive us for what we are about to do. Oh, crap. You guys are going <laughs> to kill me, aren't you? What? No. Man, you need to relax. Take a deep breath. Let your guard down. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why I'm so tense all the time. <laughs> I can't believe they literally have... <laughs> I guess I'm not the only person who wants to hit them with snowballs. <laughs> Let's head inside and see what... Fresh hell awaits us. The snow is sparkly right there. Interesting. Stop! Bah, hell. Ding dong! Justice calling! Okay. You've got to help us! He'll kill us all! Now, Max is harmless. Mostly. Sometimes. Not him! Santa! He forced us to make all those awful, hurtful toys. We don't know what's gotten into him. <laughs> the snow will turn red with the blood of the Nox! Uh... The cartoons always made him seem a lot more jolly. And I'm sure cartoons have made you seem a lot more crazy, Max, sweetheart. All right. It's a boxing Betty doll, the finest in remote control fisticuffs. Did I'm going to need this. Tron teach us anything about the dangers of playing with violent robots? Nope, I didn't learn anything. Good. I worry sometimes. I'm going to need this maze it's the for later. Simplest maze. What's the big deal? All mazes are simple. Not everybody has your knack for lateral thinking and heavy ordnance, Max. Okay, interesting. Yeah. The Flounder Pounder. I wonder why they call this the Flounder Pounder. Ooh. Fine. Yep. Okay. Uh, slimy crate. What is this gelatinous goo? I don't know, but for once, I don't find myself wanting to eat it. There's a mailing label. To Santa from Lower Manitoba. And they said Santa never gets gifts. Uh-huh. We're trying to talk to Santa. You know him? Oh, sure. He's the one who put me in charge here. Was that before or after he went crazy? I'm not sure. When someone offers me a promotion, I don't ask a lot of questions. As most of us don't. Um... 
What happened to Santa? I don't know, but if you ask me, it was only a matter of time before he snapped. He's always been a little crazy. He has? Think about it. The man gives presents away for free. I always assumed he did it for the tax write-off. There's a tax write-off? How do we talk to Santa? I don't think talking is going to do any good. All he wants to do is shoot everything. That's understandable. You gotta get his gun away from him, or he's gonna make us do bad things. Like what? Where are all the other elves? Santa fired them. To stay competitive with the other major holidays, we had to outsource our gift manufacturing. How'd the elves How? take it? They all got together and sang a farewell song. Aw, oh, that's sweet. You didn't hear the song. Let's just say it wasn't very Christmas I want to hear this song. <laughs> Who manufactures the toys now? It's all been moved off-site, so officially speaking, I have no idea. What about unofficially? Baby penguins. Excuse you and your existence. Why on earth would you use baby penguins? The adults refuse to work without a health plan. Um, do the baby penguins do good work? Sure, if you don't mind toys that have a slightly fishy smell. Giving them or receiving them? You can use Max. the gift tube over there and see for yourself. Uh-huh. What's it like living at the North Pole? I wouldn't know. I commute. <laughs> You're useless. Merry Christmas. Don't remind me. If we don't deal with Santa soon, we'll never make our shipping date. Is that a, that is a shuriken? That is a shuriken. Shuriken. It shuriken. just wouldn't feel like Christmas without the needless destruction of an innocent bystander. Oh, can't we have the shuriken? Oh. We're trying to talk to Santa. You know him? Mind if I keep cowering? I'd encourage it. Just remember to cower with your legs, not your back. Okay. Any idea why Santa went nuts? Beats me. I'm the intern. I just came off the assembly line yesterday. Jumping jacks and half stacks of hat racks. Are you saying elves are made in factories? Because if you are, I want to place an order for six million. Me too. Also, tell my army Max. they're fired. No, I meant I was working in a factory. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. What did the factory make? Elves. That. <laughs> So what happened to Santa? Beats me. I'm the new guy. See anything unusual lately? Well, this morning, I could have sworn I felt the presence of an unspeakable well, evil. evil. Tell us more about this unspeakable evil. I'd rather not speak about it. Per <laughs> You're useless, aren't Can't you? Can't you tell us anything about that unspeakable evil? No. Don't you know what unspeakable means? Every action Max ever commits. So what do you do here? I'm supposed to make this tree grow. Oh. By crying. Christmas trees love elf tears. Heck, who doesn't? It makes them grow up big and fast. But I'm too darn happy. I'll never be able to cry. What a shame. It's enough to make you cry. I wish. Okay. So we get to make this guy cry, and uh... I'll bet we could make you cry. Thanks! I've been trying to cry, but I'm just too darn happy! We can fix that. In fact, that's about the only thing we can fix. True. If you want to make me cry, go ahead! We want to! We want to! Be first! Okay. Now, I know which one I have to pick, because like I said, I did this not too long ago. I got through this whole thing in a previous recording that went horribly tits up anyway none of this is going to really work other than this guy has a weird obsession with polar bears so as much as i want content this video is going to be long enough so we're going to skip max's and go straight to what we need to hit you don't still believe in santa claus do you sure i do and I call this, this poor morning. guy an existential well, crisis i hate to be the one to break it to you but uh santa isn't real He's just make-believe, like the Black Easter Bunny, or elves. But I'm an elf. That's what makes this so hard. Wait a second, are you saying I don't exist? Can you prove that you exist? Well, sure. I, I mean, uh, no, I guess I can't. Ouch, <laughs> tough break. <laughs> 
Surprise! We were lying! Congratulations, you exist. Nice try, but I don't believe in you either. I really want that shuriken. Oh, hey, I can take this well, watering can I can't now. believe you filled up the entire can. Yeah, we must have really terrified the poor guy. Good work, little buddy. Oh, stop. <laughs> now you're gonna make me cry. Ah, uh, we all love Max. Hmm? What's this? I wonder what the elves have on their office computer. Oh, let's read their email. It's a high score list for Mimesweeper. Let's see. Prancer, Wiggles, Shambling Corporate Presence? How'd that get there? Well, pretty soon it's gonna be all Max. Now, how do I start a new game? Sorry, I think it's frozen. Oh, computers bad. and icy bad Arctic fun, wastelands. Bad a bad combination. Whee! Look, gift tags that say from Santa on them. Perfect. I've had a hard time lately getting people to open packages that say from Max on them. Gee, you I wonder have why. To blame for that. It was worth it. As I'm sure you believe everything you do is. So let's take a quick look this at what we got on the computer. Just to send presents. Cougar in a box. Foot bath and piranha aquarium. Grandma's happy pills. My first moe head. Obsessomatic stopwatch. So, personally, these happy pills I think we could all use. And the Mametron 9000 that's already been sent to us. Alright, so. Let's head out of this. Never mind. A little harassment of the North Pole. Hey, it's the North Pole. The magnetic center of the Earth. Magnetism? <laughs> don't tell me you're one of those kooks. You don't believe in magnetism? It's an interesting theory, but I'm not convinced. Your magnetism is a cute bedtime story, but I believe in one thing. <laughs> okay, fine. I guess I can believe in two things. I That's find it hilarious that he just get pulled to that immediately with that giant gun in his pocket. It's Santa's record player. Do you think it still works? Since we haven't gone near it yet, I assume so. Hi, we're collecting guns for tots. Care to make a donation? Jesus! Santa is not in a happy place right now. What's this? It's a Torture Me Elmer doll. Look, he comes with his own breakable spirit and detachable retinas. Okay. There's actually a little something fun in this season that we didn't have before. Do you want to know what it is? Do you? Something I wished for greatly in season one. The ability to make Sam run! It's a topiary planted in a tiny clay pot. So, let's make that big. Here we grow. Boing! Hey Sam, give me the rest of those elf tears. I've got a date with an unsuspecting no. metropolis. Sorry, little buddy. They only work on plans. You win again, Tokyo! All right. Going up. Oh, Boing. Oh, oh my god, I'm on fire! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I am just blowing out people's eardrums right there. I could help. And why does this thing stop and say not responding every time we go to cut scene? Oh boy. Man.